Hello crafty cuties! It is fall and I know many of you are getting ready for October daily as am I. So I wanted to share what I had going on. This is going to be just kind of a quick little video to show you my journal and then I'll have some videos coming where I'm going to show you my setup and all of that. So I am planning to do October daily in this little journal that I made. This was actually using a kit from the Magnolia Seed on Etsy's. Um, I, I've had it for a while and I finally just kind of put it together. I made this moon embellishment with her kit and then some of these beads are from the kit as well. But I made a tiny little journal here as you can kind of see. Um, I think it's, shoot, I don't even know what it measures. Um, but if you are curious, it's probably about four and a half inches by seven. I wanted to do that size because I just don't want this to be an overwhelming project and you're going to see this inside is not really like me. Um, I did not put any decorative papers in here. This is all simply book pages that also came with the kit I had because I know that when I am doing memory keeping, I like to start fresh and I like to put scrapbook paper down as my background and I like to choose as I go. So I thought this was a good way to use up the paper that I had from the kit. It was just sitting around, you know, doing nothing. And it's very thin, so if I want to cover it with scrapbook paper, it's not going to end up being too bulky because there's a lot of space in this journal. Another thing I did, I did not add too many pages. Um, there's probably a little bit more than 30 because, um, you know, I only wanted enough for the entire month, I guess 31 days. But there's probably maybe like 40 pages front and back and that's because sometimes I do like to take up an entire spread like this. So like one day would be two pages. But for the most part, I'm probably just going to be taking up one side. And this is also the perfect size if I just want to add a 4x6 photo or of course anything smaller. But 4x6 is, you know, kind of a standard size. Now I do want to make a little prompt list and that's going to give me some ideas for things that I can journal about because when I do October daily, I don't want it to, it doesn't have to be just photos. I might not even have time that day to print a photo. So I might just put a journaling card down and if I uh, look on my prompt list, I can get some certain ideas um, for things that I can journal about or talk about in my October daily. So if you're interested to see that prompt list, let me know, or I'll probably show it on my next video when I show my setup. Now my setup's just going to include some basic little supplies and papers and things that I want to <laughs> use in my journal. <laughs> Are those sneezing? And as you can see, I did not even put anything on this side. This is just a really soft fabric, but I may end up adding some pockets or something like that, but I kind of wanted to keep the journal just extremely extremely plain so that I can decorate it as I go. So I hope this inspires you guys because in the past I've been kind of extra about doing October daily and December daily, but this year, since I really don't have a ton of time, you are going to see me keeping it very, very simple. Of course, as you can see, it's a very simple journal to begin with. And I'm really going to be doing like five and ten minute layouts and so I will definitely be filming some of those with you guys to give you ideas and inspiration so that you know if you're like me you don't have a lot of time or you're just overwhelmed or intimidated by the idea of doing daily journal entries I think these videos will definitely help you out and also keep in mind that if you skip a day or a couple days that's fine or if you're someone that likes to play catch up and you would rather do it once a week and do five to seven layouts in a week, you can do that as well. You also don't even have to, you know, do a page per day. It's really up to you. So keep that in mind. You can make it flexible. You can tailor it to what works best for you. And that's what I'm going to be doing. So, um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed seeing my little journal. I love how it turned out. I think it's so cute and I like that it's small and I'm really excited to fill it all in. So I hope that you guys will um, be sure to tag me on Instagram if you're doing October Daily and you have a journal that you, you know, posted a picture. I would love to see what your journal looks like and let me know down in the comments if you're planning to do it. Let me know if there's any certain type of videos you would like to see from me pertaining to it or if you have any questions. And I will also link my last year's October daily playlist down below. 
and you can see what I did last year. I think I've done it two years in a row now. So if I have two playlists, I'll link them both. But I will see you in a coming video and uh, have a great day. <laughs> Bye.